obviously the topic that i have chosen today for your perusal and understanding is climate change and the business opportunities arising out of it let me start by showing you a picture here this picture is the only single slide in my presentation and samajhdar ko ishara kafi hai i will give you a background about this picture so that you can place things and your thoughts in context so this picture is of aral sea in central asia this used to be a beautiful fresh water blue colored lake till 1960s occupying a area of more than 1000 square kilometers today because of wrong agriculture practices and global warming this is the this almost 99% of the lake is dried this used to be using for navigation trans transportation between countries like uzbekistan kazakhstan and this is the state of lake today so this is what is global warming causing and the change is right here at our doorstep if we don't realize it our generations coming generations will be victim to it and everybody has to make a change towards this have you ever seen a picture called naya daur it was a 1957 classic which dilip kumar ajit vijanti mala if and many of you may not have seen it just for the for the you know taking you back giving you a gist so naya daur in compasses starting of a change and giving up of the old old you know ghoda baggi regime that people used to ride and that was the start of you know use of fossil fuels in this world right india was obviously the microcosm of depiction there but across the world it was happening 20 30 years back so the what happened was there was a change that was evident in this movie where old ghoda baggis were going out of fashion and business was shifting to transportation business was shifting to you know use of fossil fuels in form of lorry driving lorry riding right and then post that over next 50 60 years we see how the fossil fuels have taken over the world and the primary reason of the global warming now what it depicts is change how for business opportunities change is a great thing to start with right for entrepreneurs who can understand change and in this case of global warming if entrepreneurs come forward to take that responsibility to reduce global warming right will be winners of future in business those who can give ideas to fight the change so let me for an example you know anecdotally we keep meeting entrepreneurs who come with this ideas so 9 years back an entrepreneur came to me he said that because the global warming at the heart of reduction of the global warming is reduce reuse and recycle right because we have to bring our carbon footprint down so this gentleman came to me who was a young struggler having failed in many businesses so he saw read some article saw some bbc says i want to do some recycling of making fibers from pet bottles right i had not heard of that idea at that point of time and i actually found it very outlandish but still we funded that idea we liked it you know the way he was explaining it that how it will reduce the footprint global footprint in fact he started teaching us about the global warming we had not known by that and can you believe it that man is listed today and is a market cap of 2 billion dollars in a span of 9 years so what i am trying to say is that there are so many ideas which can come from all of you and people around you entrepreneurs around you which can reduce carbon footprint so so recently an idea came a startup which had a somebody studied from us came back to india and his was partner there two young guys came so they have invented this chemical which had salt in it which will reduce if sprinkled on the glaciers will reduce the melting of glaciers now 
how soever it may sound outlandish but we funded him right because you don't know it might become so, so everybody needs to be idea is everybody needs to be climate warrior at least in thoughts and then obviously by working on ourselves teaching around us to reduce our carbon footprint let's recycle things as much as possible let's reuse things as much as possible and that is actually going to be transferable in wealth because you know so let me give you an example in you know your sukhna lake you know it's it's one of the man made lake and it's drying up very fast in 2017 to 2020 almost 70% of the lukna sukhna lake had dried up thanks for this bountiful you know monsoon but these need to be protected and these kind of events are happening uh, quite frequently and our agriculture water supplies a, a generation you know uh, a 20 30% of the humanity will get displaced they will lose their jobs so we all and but simultaneously the opportunities exist for people who can sense this right maybe growing genetically modified food which is good for health in labs right because once the agriculture shifts you have lesser land or maybe a destroyed land by global warming so where will the food come from so there are people who are working on uh, more nutrition and less uh, portions of the food right and i was talking to this lady on millets millets is something like this that actually are anti global warming i was just talking to uh, because we are a millet buff ourselves we have funded three uh, because millets require less water these are good for arid regions arid regions in fact millets used to be our traditional source of uh, you know nutrition and energy uh, till around 100 years back until everything was lost for the large green revolution and everything so there are opportunities for everyone but it has to be thought it has to be debated and more and more ideas are going to come to you yourself rather than following uh, the old beaten path of doing the same style of businesses climate change is the greatest business opportunity and business opportunity to us and also the greatest existential threat to the mankind right and we have to work in complete unison so this uh, interesting thing let me tell you if we kind of see the change over 100 years so first automobile was invented in 1886 in germany from you know they all the world was shifting and then in early 1900s in america the automobile revolution came in in a change quite a lot of humanity just goes out of business right they have left nothing to do unless they retrain themselves or they understand the change and then some people already are who are inventing with new ideas become billionaires billionaires right so if you see uh, starting from automobile revolution people who learned car making or who made cars right who made tires became billionaires right similarly now fast forward to mobiles right india though mobile came in 19 late 1990s and the internet boom today millionaires are millionaires or babies are instagram influencers because you know they sense the opportunity that there is an internet there is a smartphone so every time we need to understand and people who could not become technology savvy i mean remain behind this kind of are falling behind in the race but climate change this global warming will leave a big portion of humanity behind the migration crisis the food crisis pani fresh pani milna difficult ho sakta hai going forward so these are the challenges that we are facing and humongous opportunities are lying ahead of us and any of you who have ideas towards this or who may start thinking we are available any time we in fact sometime fund blankly even on the you know the shockingness of the idea right just because we we feel somebody has the courage to think something that is not even possible so don't be afraid anything that you can think of which can stop global warming in fact one of the uh, climate changes actually making our oceans acid acidic right 
because the carbon dioxide and the green housing house gases that we are producing constantly is going to our oceans and this is making ocean water acidic and which is cause, causing a great derogatory change in our sea and marine life now this gentleman who i met in uh, gitex in dubai uh, around 6 4 months back had the shocking idea of turning our uh, you know restoring the ph balance of our oceans i mean it just went through out of our head right but he was seeking funding and we ended up funding him right and now royal family of saudi arabia is funding him so if you have some idea who, what you can work upon some kind of homework that you have done do come forward you we all need to be climate warrior this time around right and some of them ideas maybe 2 out of 100 3 out of 100 could become billion dollar ideas and i think uh, i am very bullish about uh, opportunities offered by climate change similarly i would want to cause alarm to uh, you know all of you in fact one of a gentleman sitting here from a company in chandigarh doing a great job right so climate change is also directly proportional to the consumption of energy the way we are consuming energies we need to actually be saving energies or find ways of saving the energy so saving energy using alternate forms of you know regenerative energy like solar right and third investing in instruments that do that will be a great theme going forward so one of the companies from chandigarh is doing a great job here and uh, the one of the directors two directors are sitting over here i invited them and uh, they are actually have you know done away with the need of boilers in industrial process so look at they they save 30 40% of energy in the process that's a great idea right we could never think of uh, they have a patent to this process so from out of chandigarh your local company doing so well so it can happen to anyone if you just start thinking build it on and 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 let's see the what happens